Hello everyone, it's Natalie and welcome to my channel Find Joy in the Journey. I'm out in the Joy Garden today. I'm going to do some harvesting, some long overdue harvesting in the pepper patch, which is where my bell peppers are. And I think the lettuce and some of the Chinese cabbage is ready to be harvested too. So let's go take a look at that and I'll show you what I'll be doing today. And I might just harvest those broccoli crowns. Because one thing I did learn is when you harvest the broccoli crown, that main crown, then that promotes, um, that encourages uh, side shoots. So let's go look at that real quick. Look over here in the pepper patch. I, I told you earlier, I don't think, you may not remember, but I told you they're coming out small. But hey, that's a harvest. I don't want them to be too small, but it's coming to the end where this is not the season that you grow sweet bell peppers anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and harvest them. And perhaps I was thinking of preparing them to just be uh, covered maybe, or what they call overwintered. So the next season I'll have um, pepper plants that were already mature and ready to produce peppers. So I'm thinking of going ahead and just harvesting what I see here and uh, then find out how I could overwinter these. But I just wanted to show you that this plant here, uh, and I don't quite remember what type of pepper plant it is. I was growing several varieties. Uh, the regular red, yellow, orange and green bell peppers sweet bell peppers but i also was growing um one banana sweet banana pepper plant jupiter sweet peppers um california wonder and grand grand bell mix so i'm going to harvest what i see here and just go ahead and prepare for the change of seasons and see what I can do about trying to um, preserve these plants or just overwinter them so I'll be ahead of the game next season. I'm gonna give it a try. But I'm, I just don't, I can't see myself uh, just emptying these containers. Okay, so let's move over to where this uh, lettuce is. This is my butter crunch lettuce. It's young and tender and I do believe I can harvest this. I was waiting till they could get as large as they possibly could. This this is a lettuce that I harvested uh, about a week or so ago. This is a Paris Island cost. And I harvested several heads and they're already growing back. Okay. That's some uh, butter crunch down there, but I planted that um, way after I planted these so they're not even they've not even close to being ready yet but look how pretty it's growing now this is Chinese cabbage okay look at that beautiful I can remember when I planted these Chinese cabbages two plants I put the transplants in this uh, grow bag and look how beautiful and beautiful they are now so I'm thinking of harvesting these two uh, Chinese cabbages. This is also Chinese cabbage. Okay, but they're not as big as these. I wonder if it's a different variety. But it is Chinese cabbage. Okay. So I can harvest that. And the mustards. Always bountiful. <laughs> Always bountiful. Tell you a very quick story because I am long-winded. When I first uh, tried to grow mustards, Florida broadleaf mustards, I had them over there in that area where the pepper patch is. And I babied them. I covered them in, in netting to keep them away from the uh, insects. And all it took, they were growing so nicely. Grew them from seed. All it took was a couple of caterpillars pillars to go in there completely destroyed it. I made a video of it. I was so heartbroken because I worked so hard on those. 
and they completely destroyed the entire container of mustards. So that's why I think I'm having such a success and so much luck with the mustards now because <laughs> I, I, I deserve it, put it that way. I deserve it. So, they're, and they're beautiful. So I, I just wanted to tell you that quick story about my first experience with growing mustards to let you know that I am so pleased to have such a bountiful blessing now with my mustards. Okay, this is the broccoli crown that I will be harvesting today. I've made a decision. I'm going to go ahead and harvest it because, like I said, I did learn that with, um, this is green magic. Now, I've grown green magic before. Matter of the fact, the first time I uh, was introduced to growing broccoli, it was the green magic that I started off with. Destiny, the one next to it, this is what's new to me. But the green magic is a sure bet for me. I, I even with my first time growing broccoli, this is the variety I grew, and it's always, uh, in my opinion, it comes healthy and strong. And so if you're suggesting to someone who is a new grower or a new gardener and they wanna try growing broccoli, I suggest you introduce them to Green Magic. It's a hybrid, okay? But this here, this broccoli head, crown is ready to come off and I'll let you see me harvest it and but supposedly once you harvest that main crown there that encourages the side shoots so that's another reason why I would like to do it and also this one over here okay all right you guys I hope I got you in a good spot okay I'm just gonna cut this little leaf right here so we can get to it okay so how I learned to harvest my crowns is first of all you're gonna use a serrated knife and you're gonna cut at an angle okay I'll tell you why in a sec there we are you see that Okay, now the reason why you're cutting at an angle and using the serrated knife is because this part here that's left, it's at an angle. So rainwater and you, the water, um, when you're, you're watering your plants will not uh, settle on the top and rot that little part right there. So being that it's at an angle, when the water comes down, it's going to just slide right off. Okay, but that's what I learned. And that's why I always do it that way since I learned that, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do this real quick. There's lots more to get to. I'm just cutting some little old leaves off that I see. So you can see them here as I do it, okay? This is the crown that I want. Hope you guys can see, all right? So, gonna take my knife, cut at an angle. Perfect. Comes right off. Here's the second one. Nice, huh? Early harvest, an early broccoli harvest for me. Today is October 24th. Okay? I'm very happy. That's it for now, but we have more coming. We have more coming. All right. Hope you guys can see. This is my Chinese cabbage. Let's give it a try. Huh? <laughs> there she is. It smells so good. Mm. Let's try the second one. Oh. 
Oh, beautiful. They're so big and pretty. Look at that. Just saw a spider, so I'm being very careful. Oh my gosh. Grow Chinese cabbage. <laughs> it's so satisfying. And it's pretty easy to grow. Grow Chinese cabbage, you guys. Ugh. Okay. Just cleaning up. <laughs> All right. Nice. these I think these could grow a little bigger so I'm gonna leave these because these are also Chinese cabbages so we're just gonna turn our attention over here to the uh, the lettuce all right let's see here how's that that's good I think it's perfect all right What you think of that? Ah. Let me give me another container. There you go. Because that one is full. I have the, the two Chinese cabbages and I have the two broccoli crowns over here and it is completely full. It's a sweet little basket I found. I love it. lettuce. <laughs> Grow lettuce, people. To be able to, if you want to sell it, just come out in your garden and grab some lettuce. I love it. clean up after <laughs> while I'm here because if not if I stop right now I may not come back just leave it ugly I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab these old leaves while I'm here okay that's pretty good let me throw this away grow lettuce everybody Cabbage is going to stay there. We're not ready for the cabbage yet. I am so pleased with what, what I have right here. Now with the peppers, let's go look at them. Some of them, some of them are going to be small because that one plant was trying to grow so many peppers at one time. So um, kind of overtaxing the plant. Plus some of them are a little weirdly shaped. Uh, let's see. But we're gonna go over there, we're gonna look and see what's going on in the pepper patch. Let's go. Okay. I gotta go get my snips. So we're done with the serrated knife for now. Just to show you a few of the banana peppers that I cut off. Yeah, they've been on there for a long while. Yeah. But I just want to show you. banana peppers. Now, when you see these, don't like, oh my god, what a great harvest. No, it's not. I let them stay on too long. Uh, my first three to four harvests, I mean, this plant took off immediately. I got great 
productivity from this plant from jump. And I was able to harvest so many peppers, banana, sweet banana peppers. I even took some in and I pickled them. So these now are just neglected. And then after a while, I noticed that they start coming out kind of shaped funny. Oh, and they do turn red. I know they're banana peppers and they normally, they, they stay yellow. But then if you leave them on long enough, they will change colors and turn red. But I just went ahead and I just harvested these. But also there's another pepper plant back there. And I want to say that that variety must be the um, the Grand Bell mix because the peppers come out shaped like this. And I was very surprised because I'm used to a sort of a kind of round fat uh, shaped bell pepper. And when they start coming out like this, I'm like, okay, what's going on? So uh, I think with the Grand Bell mix, and you can comment in the comment section if you know for sure, that they kind of, it's a mix of different peppers and they come out in different shapes. But these look like they're healthy peppers. And these are sweet bell peppers. Okay? So I have, there's a plant right back there next to the sweet uh, banana pepper plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on, get a little closer so you can see me uh, do this plant right here, okay? I wish I had gotten much bigger than this, but um, we're coming to the end of the season. So. All is well. Now here I'm just cutting back the tops. I just want you to see this. If you look at all these, these are potential peppers. This plant, all of this, when I talked about pinching peppers, this is what I meant. All of this was trying to grow on that one plant. Okay? These are potential peppers. That's why they came out small. Because this plant was just working way too hard. That's why I learned how to pinch back some of the peppers so the plant can focus on growing just a few peppers at a time and focus on growing those peppers along. So, like I said, we're done with the pepper season. That's going to be next spring. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and finish up, you guys. Just wanted to show you uh, just a few of them. But I'm gonna finish up now, so let's go. It's a wrap on my bell peppers. It's a wrap on the pepper patch. 
Oh, it's bittersweet, but I tell you what, I know that each and every one of these plants will produce. So my intentions are to try to at least pick some of the best ones and try to overwinter them. I think you can do it. I want to say that I listened to a YouTube video where this gentleman was overwintering his, or he said that you can't overwinter your bell pepper plants. I'd like to do that. I'd like to get a jump start um, in spring instead of growing from seed. Well, you know, I may try to grow some from seed because a lot of these, the majority of them, I grew from seed in my greenhouse <laughs> i'm so proud the jupiter the uh grand bell mix and the california wonder i grew from seed i did i did i did but uh some of the like the orange the yellow the red and the green the basic uh different color bell peppers sweet bell peppers i did purchase from a big box store and pretty much all of them died but one I had one red bell pepper plant that was in that raised bed over there where I have the celery and those uh, cabbages. And it basically just was in that raised bed since I would say March of this year. But finally I uprooted it. It was a full grown plant producing peppers. And I waited till it was at this transitional stage where it wasn't producing as much peppers, but I knew it was still healthy. And then I completely dug around it and uprooted it, just scooped it all up and placed it over here with the rest of his friends and family over here in the bell pepper patch, in the pepper patch, because it was the only bell pepper uh, plant in the midst of all these other vegetables over there. And I wanted it over here in the uh, pepper patch. So I did, that's the one way in the back over there and it is still producing still healthy i uprooted it and it did not destroy the roots it's still producing so i'm going to see what i can do i'm going to look into it so pretty much i'm done with harvesting today the big harvest to me was the broccoli i couldn't wait to do that and i'm going to go inside i'm going to wash them up real good and i'm going to go ahead and blanch them and freeze them uh now with the chinese cabbage and the lettuce here's this is why when I'm tired, I don't do large harvests because I don't do a large harvest when I'm tired because I like to go ahead and deal with whatever I harvest right then and there, especially when you have leafy greens, they wither so fast. So um, I'm going to have to go in and take the broccoli will sit for a while. But with those with those Chinese cabbages and the lettuce, I got to deal with them pretty quick. So um that's why I don't I try not to do a large harvest uh, on a day where I'm tired. This is <laughs> this is a day where I'm actually tired, but I had to do something. I had to. I, I felt like it needed to be done, so I went out here and I did it. And I wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, how I clean and separate the broccoli into florets and go ahead and blanch them and freeze them. So. I'm going to go ahead and get started with that, but I'm going to go ahead and tidy up out here. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching me in my harvest. This is one of my early fall harvest. Uh, so thank you for tuning in and welcome to my new subscribers. I hope you guys heard the news. I have hit a milestone. I'm at over 500 su subscribers and I am so thrilled. I'm thrilled to have you guys join me in this journey. Um, and I hope you enjoy my content and I'm just very pleased with how everything is going right now. So thank you guys for supporting me. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.